The Ouija board is considered a dangerous tool of divination because its user may be talking to demons. But there is a lesser known theory that the users of Ouija boards, without their knowledge, are merely communicating between themselves. Renowned author Ken Korchak is one of the believers in this theory, and this is his account of communicating with a human being in another time and space. A human being who calls himself Dr. 58. Deep in the forest of Minnesota, in 2011, Ken and his friend Brian were cutting wood. After abandoning the day's work on a spur of the moment, they took up the spirit board. It had never produced results of any particular note, but this was about to change as the planchette raced across the surface of the board. The wooden cursor sped from one letter to the next, almost faster than they could write the message down. This was only the first of many sessions conducted with a powerful entity who said he was a man living in the city of New York. He was reaching out through his own spirit board, and he said his name was Dr. 58. He was currently living in the year 1951. In communicating with an inhabitant of Minnesota, he said he was breaking the law. On the alternate earth of Dr. 58, Minnesota is a forbidden zone, surrounded by a neutral corridor 50 miles wide. Those who attempt to cross the corridor are entering illegally. One of two things will happen to anyone who succeeds in reaching Minnesota. Those who return are withered and bent, unless a look-alike imposter returns in their place. These doppelgangers do not last long. Eventually they vanish without a trace, except in the case that they are first identified and captured. Some of the Doctor's alternate Earth history would sound familiar. Benjamin Franklin was one of his country's founding fathers. Other aspects of history would be totally alien. His Ben Franklin journeyed west, hacking through untamed wilderness toward the land of 10,000 lakes. He was gone so many years that newspapers published his obituary. Finally, he returned to the East with newly gained knowledge of the principles of electromagnetism. This inspired him to use a kite to attract lightning in a thunderstorm. However, that was only the tip of the iceberg when it came to his new expertise. Because of Franklin, the government would eventually forbid entry to the land he had discovered. He gave that land the name of Minnesota. Then he invented the first weapon of mass destruction. He called it Electrical Concussion Flame. It was powerful enough to level a small city, and it was used only once against a regiment of British soldiers. Benjamin Franklin was then arrested, and ultimately, he was led to the gallows. Because its source is in Minnesota, the Mississippi River is also feared in the world of Dr. 58. The doctor remembers from his childhood a certain incident which occurred on the western bank of the mighty river. Along the bank, overnight, appeared a string of yellow vending machines. There was an inscription on each machine which read, In Case of Hunger. Mounted on top of the machine was a collector in the shape of the mouth of a trumpet, designed to draw in passing insects. 
when a button was pushed on this machine. A small cake was dispensed, folded inside an organic wrapper. The government determined this was meant to poison the people. Military troops were used to destroy all of these vending units. The spirit board through which Dr. 58 communicates is quite unlike Ouija boards on this earth. He calls it the Oracle. It consists of a grid which is inscribed with pictographs. The doctor's planchette is a tiny globe of glass filled with the oil of the sesame seed, which is rolled upon the grid. This is how the doctor received his messages from our dimension.